Nelson Mandela was born in 1918 in Kunu, a small village in South Africa. When Mandela was 12 years old, his father died. Mandela went to school and then in 1937 went to university. And after university, he went to Johannesburg. In Johannesburg, he saw apartheid, the segregation of blacks and whites. He lived in a poor black township and saw the terrible life of black people in the city. This experience changed his life. In 1944, Mandela joined the ANC, the African National Congress. This was the start of the road to becoming a leader in the fight against apartheid. He finished his studies and became a lawyer in 1952. He was more and more active in the fight against apartheid. And in 1962, the government put Mandela in prison. He spent 27 years in prison. While Mandela was in prison, the fight against apartheid continued and people around the world called for Mandela's release. Finally, the president of South Africa, F.W. de Klerk, decided to release Mandela. I wish to put it plainly that the government has taken a firm decision to release Mr. Mandela unconditionally. Mandela finally left prison in February 1990. There's Mr. Mandela, Mr. Nelson Mandela, a free man taking his first steps into a new South Africa. But peace didn't come easily. It was a dangerous time. Mandela called for peace, but not everybody wanted peace. Take your guns, your knives, and your pangas, and throw them into the sea. I said, if I am your leader, you have to listen to me. And if you don't want to listen to me, then drop me as your leader. Four years after Mandela left prison, there were elections for president. For the first time, blacks voted in a free election. People can't believe it when you say, hey, I'm free. I'm free and, and you're walking tall. And on May the 10th, 1994, Nelson Mandela became president of South Africa. I, Nelson Holesasa Mandela, do hereby say to be faithful to the Republic of South Africa. In his five years as president, Mandela worked to bring peace between blacks and whites. Then, in 1999, he retired, but he didn't stop working. For the next five years, he traveled around the world and raised money for children, education, and medical research. Not long before his death, he visited the family grave. He said that when he died, he wanted to be buried in Kunu, his childhood home. Nelson Mandela died on December the 5th, 2013, at the age of 95.